Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So during the 32 uh, Thoughts segment last night, uh, Elliot Freeman talked about a couple of Vancouver Canuck forwards that could be possibly on the move as we near the NHL trade deadline. And those two players were JT Miller and Connor Garland. So um, I want to talk about them a bit in this because uh, Elliot Freeman did mention Connor Garland uh, naming a couple of specific teams. And with JT Miller, really just talked about the whole return to the New York Rangers rumor that we've been hearing the past couple of uh, past couple of days. So I want to talk about that all in this video. So please stay with me throughout. So during a 32 Thoughts segment, uh, Jeff Marrick and Elliot Friedman were talking about the Vancouver Canuck forwards who could who could be on the move. They mentioned that Bo Horvat and Elias Pettersson were pretty much not being moved, but Friedman mentioned that nearly any other Vancouver Canuck forward could be had for the right price. Um, you know, he talked about the JT Miller rumor going to going back to the New York Rangers. And, um, you know, JT Miller, when you look at his stats over his uh, last couple of years and the last couple of teams, totally different player than the way he's playing now with the Vancouver Canucks. Now he's over a point per game player, and this could help a lot of teams out. You know, he could score. He's, he's putting up a really tremendous good year, uh, putting up some goals, uh, putting up some points. And, you know, the way his style of play is... He plays hard for the team. He plays a physical game. That's definitely what you need entering the playoffs. And it can help any team that's looking to get over that edge, um, you know, come playoff time. So he didn't mention too many other names uh, as far as teams that were interested in JT Miller. But he mentioned that trade rumor back to the New York Rangers. So um, the Rangers have the assets to pull it off. So we'll see if they can do it. So JT Miller is definitely going to be one of those names as we near the trade deadline that's going to have a lot of teams involved. So definitely keep your eye on JT Miller. I think he's going to be a good uh, trade piece for any team as we near the trade deadline. And the other t the other player he talked about was Connor Garland. And um, Elliot Friedman said it is believed that the Boston Bruins, the Calgary Flames, the New Jersey Devils, and the New York Rangers are in pursuit of Garland. Um now, the thing that was interesting to me is he talked during both periods, um, and when he talked in the first period, he mentioned the Devils being involved, and I, I kind of struck my head at it. I, I think he's going to go more to a playoff competitor, um, you know, a team looking to add uh, playoff depth. But, you know, come the second period when he was talking about it again, he mentioned just the Devils in particular and talking about Connor Garland. And I always love the way Connor Garland plays. I know he's a small forward, but he plays a big game, he scores timely goals. He's fast, he's quick, uh, he's got a hell of a shot, and he plays a big game for his size. So, um, you know, we're used to it, seeing a Gianta play, and, um, you know, players like that. Have Bre Breland was a small player. We've seen players like that play for the Devils and have success. So, Connor Garland is that type of player that if you could put him with a good center, put him with another big guy on the other side, the Devils can find success with that. So, I like the way he could play. I think the Devils have the assets if they want to move some players out or some prospects out that are really not fitting into the system. I think they could do that. And um, it'd be an interesting fit. He's uh, cost-controlled for the next couple of years. But, you know, a lot of teams are going to be looking at adding a forward to add some depth during a, for a playoff push. You can see the Rangers looking to add um, forwards. You're hearing uh, them being rumored with uh, Aturi Lekkanen. You're hearing them being rumored with uh, Jake DeBrusque. So they're looking at adding a, a particular forward as well. And I, I know they've been in the rumor, rumor mill uh, regarding Jacob Chikrin as well. And the Boston Bruins. Um, Connor Garland is a Boston native. So that'd be an interesting fit. You know, I, I know they're looking more to fill a, a role at center. But, um, you know, adding Garland could really help the Bruins out as well. And, um, you know, it'd be an interesting fit there as well. So we'll see. And the Calgary Flames... They have a really good team this year, really good, quick team. So Connor Garland fits the mold of them as well. So that'd be an interesting fit there as well. So we're going to have to wait to see what happens with Connor Garland. Um, you know, Connor Garland is 25 years old. Um, he's a versatile forward. He could play the left and the right side. Um, I know he's a small player, 5'10", 165 pounds, uh, right shot. But this, kid, this guy can shoot, he can score, and he plays a big game for his size. Uh, Arizona drafted him in 2015 in the fifth round. Um... Looking at his contract, he signed recently signed a five-year, $24.75 million contract, which he has a very reasonable contract uh, of a $4.95 million AAV cap hit until 20, season of 25-26. So, um, you know, looking at his stats uh, this year for 2021-2022, playing for the Canucks, he played 39 games, 10 goals, 14 assists, 24 points. Uh, in 2020, 2021, he played for the Coyotes. 49 games played, 12 goals, 27 assists, 
39 points. And in 2019, 2020, he played for the Coyotes, 68 games played, 22 goals, 17 assists, 39 points. So altogether, he's played in 203 NHL games, 500, uh, 57 goals, uh, 63 assists, and 120 points. So, you know, Carla Garland, he play, he has strong net front presence. He plays physical for the for his size. He can put some big hits on people. And, um, you know, he can shoot the score. We've seen him score a couple of very pretty goals off the one-time feeds. He's got a hell of a shot. And, um, you know, he plays tough, a, a tough game. So, um, yeah, he's going to be an interesting fit for any team looking to head into the NHL playoffs. But I found it very interesting, the teams that were mentioned, and the Devils in particular, because we need players, especially right-handed shots on that right side that can help out um, our top six. And Connor Garland could be an interesting fit with the New Jersey Devils, playing on the wing of either he sure Hughes be a good fit. So we'll have to wait and see on this. When I first saw the name and the Devils being linked to him, I got very happy because I like the way this, this kid played with um, the Arizona Coyotes. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. So comment below what you think about this. Who do you think will land JT Miller or Connor Garland in this case? Comment below and let me know. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. And subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.